Distech Controls connects people with intelligent building solutions through their forward-thinking technologies and services. They reshape the way people operate, work in, and experience spaces with advanced building automation solutions. They are at the forefront of smart building innovation, providing more sustainable, autonomous, and human buildings. Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's session. I'm Ryan Sen, Vice President of International Sales here at Distech Controls, and I would like to hear a bit more about sustainability. And so let's meet Lauren Scott, our Vice President of Marketing and Sustainability at Acuity Brands Intelligent Spaces Group. Lauren, what would you say is the general feeling towards sustainability right now? It does seem to be a hot topic both within the building industry and beyond. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The word sustainability has unfortunately become somewhat politicized and certainly polarized in recent years. And yet the idea of energy savings and ultimately emissions is nothing new. The built industry has historically seen interest in energy rise as the associated cost of energy spiked. In turn, it would become less top of mind when prices stabilized. What is new, however, is that over the past five to 10 years, we are no longer seeing these peaks and valleys of interest when the price of oil and gas has increased or decreased. Emissions and the subsequent impact on people and the planet is now continuing this upward trend regardless of the macro environment. We are certainly seeing this right now with everyone from tenants to regulatory bodies. Well, Lauren, according to the United Nations Environmental Program, the UNEP, the building industry is currently responsible for 40% of energy consumption and about one third of global greenhouse gas emissions. It seems clear that our sector needs to urgently transform to meet environmental requirements. How do you think smart buildings can actually support this environmental transition? This number is quite remarkable, but I genuinely believe that it's in acknowledging this problem that we can begin to see the opportunity. Recent numbers show that only 11% of buildings in North America are currently equipped with building management systems. And arguably only a fraction of those probably have truly optimized systems. Through HVAC control alone, it is estimated that energy savings and subsequent emission reductions of up to 30% are possible. When you then begin to pull in data and connectivity, this rich data can be collected at the edge through sensors and controllers which in turn allows for remarkable energy management and even ESG reporting. So Lauren, do you think that a building can actually reconcile performance and energy efficiency? I do, but as the saying goes, you cannot manage what you don't measure. By having the appropriate technology deployed throughout a building, so sensors, controllers, and the appropriate overlaying software, we really do have the opportunity to get this baseline and then to take the appropriate improvements. We really do need to see buildings as well as part of a broader ecosystem, one that can go as wide as a smart city or a smart grid. The same technology that can pull in all of this data from throughout the building, from heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and lighting, we can then use this to take meaningful action. For example, to avoid consumption during a peak energy usage, steps can be taken to smooth the curve by reducing or shifting consumption. And of course, this crosses over once again to making business sense as well. Because at the end of the day, the cheapest form of energy is that which we do not consume. Lauren, that makes a whole lot of sense. But at the end, what role do building owners and property managers actually play in increasing occupant awareness? Well, to begin by proactively sharing your portfolio's energy usage, there's actually an opportunity that is double-sided. First, you can showcase your efforts and thereby attract top-tier tenants. And B, you can proactively engage them in their own responsible energy usage. We are currently seeing this with our own production facilities in France and their utility providers EcoWAP program. Not only are employers responsible for getting engaged with peak load avoidance, but there's also a push to get employees involved in this process. We therefore get the opportunity to attract, educate, and involve occupants through energy management dashboards. Lauren, that's a great point. But to kind of round out our discussion here and get a bit more granular, the environmental performance and even ranking of buildings is increasingly part of strategic management. What solutions can you as DISTAC controls provide? We're certainly seeing that businesses who are now proving to be the most resilient in these ever-changing economic times are those who are operating truly at the intersection of sustainability and technology. 
Before taking any actions within a built space, it is necessary to understand and analyze the available data. Our core business is the measurement and control of HVAC, blinds, and lighting in buildings, which naturally gives us a ton of data points. But raw data is not worth much. It really does take this contextualization, which is so fundamental. In turn, then, uh, thanks to overlaying building management software, we're able to offer this additional layer of intelligence. Paired with our recently introduced cloud-based SaaS solution for energy and ESG reporting, we can also provide near real-time monitoring of a building portfolio. Other indicators such as occupancy rates and information related to occupant comfort can also be integrated into this data. This is essential to enhance the value of the portfolio and has financial impacts ranging from leasing, sales, brand image, and the value of the company. In addition, we're seeing pending regulations here in North America for publicly traded companies on reporting scope one, two, and three emissions. There is therefore definitely a business need. The beauty in all of this is that technology and ultimately the businesses behind them is emerging as the leading protagonist in the sustainability journey. And we're just getting started. Connected and open technology paired with cutting edge solutions based on machine learning, AI, and digital twin capabilities can truly give us all hope. Wow, Lauren, this discussion has truly been enlightening. Thank you very much for coming out and spending some time with us today. Thanks, Ryan.